The biggest advantage of Avair is that of retrievability. This is the first leadless pacemaker on the market, which we can actually take out after a number of years. Previously, with the product that's currently available on the market, unfortunately, after the battery dies, after eight, 10, 12 years, the pacemaker has to be left in place and another one placed next to it. Now you can imagine for a young patient who starts out in their 20s, 30s, 40s, they're gonna end up with a number of these and possibly crowd or litter that heart. To be able to take out one of these and put another one in is truly game-changing in the field. The advantage of the Helix design over the Tyne design of a leadless pacemaker, the leadless pacemaker with a Helix design can be screwed into the myocardium and can also be screwed out. The value of battery life in all pacemakers, not just leadless, cannot be overstated. When a battery dies with these implanted devices, this means the patient needs another procedure, and that means another opportunity for complications. If we can increase the time interval between these procedures, the patients benefit. Uh, younger patients especially need to consider this if they're having pacemakers implanted for intermittent need for pacing. Due to the increased battery capacity and reduction in battery drain, their pacemakers can last over 25 years. Fewer procedures, a longer time interval between interventions because of a longer battery life equals a lower opportunity for complications and therefore better patient outcomes. Being able to map with a VAIR is revolutionary. With our previous leadless pacemaker on the market right now, you would place the device and then discover whether or not you had adequate pacing thresholds, if your sensing was good, if the spot that you chose was actually desirable or not. The problem with that is then if it wasn't, you would have to take it out and put it into another location in the heart. And all of our literature suggests that repositioning these devices is associated with higher complication rates. Now, being able to map with the Avair beforehand gives us the ability to know if this location that we are choosing is going to be the correct one. I think that if physicians are considering an Avair leadless pacemaker uh, for a patient, they need to consider several factors. The advantages, I think, are the battery life uh, and the fact that it can be retrieved the fact that the device can be mapped passively um, and identify a suitable spot before deployment, and the fact that down the road, if we can retrieve the device, have a longer battery, uh, and upgrade in the future for other purposes. Retrievability, upgradeability, and a battery that is quite long-lasting compared to competitors.